Hey guys, remember to hit like if you liked the video, subscribe if you want to see more, and leave a comment so I know what you really think about me. Enjoy! Hey guys, Vince here, playing a game called The Room Syndrome. No, I didn't record this poorly. This is just how the title screen looks. Now I have no clue if this is a spooky game, or not. Uh, it has red font, so I'm going to assume yes. Let's, let's check it out. Oh, now it's now it's not red. Okay, not bad. Room syndrome. Oh, there's red. Uh, let's check settings real quick. Uh, that's fine. Start game. Yes, begin. What? Dun dun dun. Wow. There is no music, but the sound is working. Wake up. This is the final stop. Oh my. Now this is... This is pixelated. Ah, WASD. Not arrow keys. Got it. Oh, that's cool. Cool. See, so few lines. But it still tells a train. Anyways, this is made by Presentable Games. By Jesse Cardin. That is a free game, by the way. Available on Steam and Itch.io. Uh, hopefully I'll remember to put the link in the description. The Room Syndrome. There is indeed music. Very, very quiet music. Jeez Louise. <laughs> May need to bump that up a lot in post, but we'll see. Anyways. Triple exclamation mark in red. Wait. Dot dot dot. Did you really need to close the door behind you? Yes. Whatever. It doesn't matter anyway. Okay, freak. You always close the door behind you. I wasn't raised in no barn. Mom, don't raise no fool or slob. Ease it. It's a piece of paper. What do you do? Okay. Oh, thank God I can't. Sh I can vex sprint. Hey. hey, you need to talk to me? What the hell? Who are you, David? Was there anything else? What is this place? This is the room. Gee, thanks. The only room. That's ominous. This is the only place that exists anymore. Well, since I came from outside the room, I would assume that's not true. Just throwing that out there. What is it? When you came, you saw a train station outside, right? So you're acknowledging there's something outside the room. Then you just walk through a door. What was around you? I don't really remember myself. But if you could describe to me what it was like, then... Well, actually, never mind. That's too hard to program. How long have I been here? God. I, uh, wow, I don't know. Long enough that it's hard to remember. I mean, it's not even that it's just hard to remember, but it's hard to even feel. That's disturbing. I told you, I really don't know. This isn't something that comes easily anymore. My head is fuzzy these days, just like the text, but I guess if I had to describe it, you know, that feeling when you've been... 
somewhere so long that it feels like home. That length of time that causes days or months to lose meaning. That long. David is normal. I don't think he's normal. Long enough that I can barely remember the first time you asked me. <laughs> Come on now, though. You really don't need to keep asking this. <sighs> How many options are there? Jeez, okay, fine. Microwave! Can we make food? I'm hungry. No? Okay, bye. Eh? Eh? Examine. The trash can filled with crumpled on papers. Not going to read any? Cool. Mm, take a nap? No. Re-examine this note. Okay, nothing's changed. Maybe that'll give me the dialogue option? The door is locked. You are stuck in here. Hmm. It's darn shame, darn shame, really. <laughs> Interesting. Key? <laughs> a key. To the door. You think a key exists? I feel sorry for you. I think I remember what it was like. Hoping for a way out. It was so long ago. I really wish I could tell you there was. But there isn't. Believe me. Don't waste your time. Well... Hmm. Okay then, be that way. God, I keep trying to use the arrow keys to move. Well, bust out the window, man. An empty cardboard box. What do you do? Destroy it. You destroy the box. Why? The end table is glowing and quivering. It doesn't make any sense. Yet the space around it feels cold. It's unlike anything else on the room right now. What do you do? Poke it! Whoop. Hello? That's a thing that happens. It's a piece of paper. Read the paper. Come on, paper clock down, boy. It's concerning. But the more scary thing is, who wrote all these notes? That's really dinner. Now he's also saw these notes appearing when I was in David's timeline. Oh. Oh god, are these? These notes are our thoughts. Someone has transcribed our thoughts! What? How? Is this happening? I am David found my thoughts and that's why. I need to get out of here. Okay. So there's timelines. Time travel frequency seems to have something to do with even and odd numbers. The whole thing is a spectrum, the center frequency being a medium. The further from the center, the further in the desired direction of time. I think odd means future and even means past. I know several paradoxes that have already occurred. I think there are a few more I might have might have to create to escape this place once and for all. Okay. God, I really wish I could use the arrow keys to move. Inside the chest are a couple of batteries. What do you do? Take the batteries. You took them. There's an arrow over here. An old TV set. It's currently turned on. Let's watch TV. Wow. I see a three in there. Barely. It comes off a bit better in the recording than it does on my TV. Okay. The radio will not turn on. With low further investigations, clear the radio of missing batteries. Batteries fit, but they don't work. Interesting. Let's leave. Aww. Also, the bed's in a different spot now, I think. Box! Empty cardboard box. What do you do? Destroy the box. You must really hate this box. I do. Uh. Close the chest. I 
I hate cardboard boxes. Seriously, guys, destroy your cardboard boxes so I can put them out for, like, recycle stuff. You open the drawer. The drawer is empty. Put the batteries in the drawer. Touch the table again. Open the drawer. Batteries! Yay! I'll take those. Sup, dude? You hungry? Uh, you have a radio? That thing causing the trouble. Don't mess with it. It won't do any good. Helpful. I'm back. You left? You didn't even notice. How long were you gone? I don't know. Great. Well, hope wherever you went was better than this place. It wasn't, wasn't. No, another room. What's up with TV? I can't... I can't... It can tune into a single channel. Only one channel for all eternity. I plugged it in and turned it on like it's supposed to. Not been able to tune into any other channel. I only get static. With the one channel I get is just a black screen anyways. Always static. Don't get the point of the stupid thing. The kids I hear voices coming from the TV. As is want for TVs. Always only happens when TV is turned on. Turn to one channel that it receives. I can't make anything out. It sounds like yelling. It's also so quiet that it's not intelligible. It's not real, is it? I'm just going insane, right? What difference would it make? Everything in this place is just a torture me. Okay, David. You need to calm down. Oh, so TV's over here, eh? Look at the TV. Wow, yeah, that's a TV, all right. Come on, turn on the TV. It's destroyed cardboard box. Well done. Radio will not turn on. You see a soft button batteries. With the strange humming batteries in hand, what do you do? No. Paradox removed. You put batteries into the radio. The radio bleeps to life. What was the paradox? The dials and controls spin for a moment before settling down. David looks over you for a moment. Wait, what was the paradox exactly? I don't. I don't understand. Rolling his eyes, he resumes what he was doing. Okay. Uh, can I do anything? It doesn't look like I can do anything. Hmm. How about you, David? You got any insights? You hungry? You fixed it? Why? Why would you do that? The last time that radio was messed with, it caused a lot of pain and suffering. I'd really appreciate it if you would please leave it alone. I said leave it alone! Destroy the cursed device! If you don't, I will. Eventually. Okay. So I can keep asking questions? Okay, so I should probably stop asking questions, because I think that makes him go crazy. Oh, I can use my mouse on this game. Good to know. Now, how do these radios work? Whoa, okay. Cool, I figured it out. Not sure how, but I did. Different note. Piece of paper. Read it. I've cracked it! The radio allows me to travel through time! I'm not sure, but it's something to do with the frequency and volume. Doesn't seem to be a discernible order to it. It certainly isn't linear, because I've had numbers on both sides take me to the past and the future. Figure out the pattern eventually. 
but now I'm at least getting somewhere. Oh, didn't they say something about odds and evens that I wasn't paying attention to? Empty cardboard box. Destroy it. Kill it now. Hopefully the box didn't have anything in it. No TV sets. Watch TV. Now there's a 2 on it, and it's 6. Oh god, do I have to take notes? Oh, I could change the channel on this. Oh lord. Eh. 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 It doesn't want to change channels. So I changed the channel before. Okay. So channel five. Got it. Good to know. Good to know. Maybe. Or maybe it's bad to know. I don't know. I'm scared. Piece of paper. Read it. I've set the room to my liking. I'm happy with how everything looks, but I figured out how to make several meals. I feel safe at the moment, but all things considered, I'm concerned because I don't know how whether I'm in the future or the past. Either way, where is David? Because if it's in the past, David said he's been here for a while. If it's in the future, and David's not here, that means he escaped somehow. If this, yeah. If this is future, what happened? And if this is past, I really hope I don't run to him in the coming weeks. Someone don't want to make a paradox. Don't even know what that would be like. With me jumping back and forth everywhere, surprise hasn't happened yet. Oh. Okay. Is this diff different paper? The amount of paper collecting everywhere is concerning, but the more scary thing is who wrote these notes? I certainly did. Oh, I've seen this before. Ow. Let me switch this TV on. Put put on the right channel now. What the hell? Oh, this there it is. Put them all on channel five. Uh, where am I going? Here, right. Oh my! It's a pile of keys! Doink. You took a key, it feels uncomfortable, almost like it doesn't belong here. Oh god, did you travel through time? Did the person travel through time and literally grab every single key out of existence? And pull them all here? That's fucked up. One. Batteries, hide the batteries, that way you can't follow me. They're in 105.3. Oh god, I need to write this down, don't I? Come to me! No paper for indie games. Let's see, no, that's Fire Emblem. Sure, this one works. I already got the batteries, but just in case I'll write them down. Oh, 05.3. Uh, yep, I've taken key from every possible time frame and brought them here. The monster should never be allowed to escape, damn creep. He can stay and deal with the paradoxes for all I care. Okay. And then the lock. I've, I've locked the chest at the original time frame. There's no key in there. But by any chance he finds a way out, I don't want him restoring the paradoxes. In case I forget, the combination is etched under the table in combo under table 97.3. I need to make sure to enter the second number last, or else it won't work for some reason. What? Second number last. Now I'll burn this letter after I test a key. With any luck, I can finally open that door. Okay. Fuck. 
Well, of course, let's fix the TV. There you go. There's a box over there. I gotta take it out. Damn it. I'm coming for you, box. There's a box here, too. Destroy it. Hmm. God damn, how do I get over there? no TV in this world. Oh, here's a TV. Okay. Stand has been clearly relocated, firewood roll off. How do I get over there? I need to destroy the box. I got to destroy the box. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm currently at 105.3. So let's check out some of the other ones. Okay, so I think all the marks on the thing, which are really tiny, so you can't see them that well, are the timelines I've been to and possibly paradoxes that exist there. And maybe that's what the red is and all the purple... <gasps> a box! It's a piece of paper. Read it. I thought I did it, but I'm just back in the room again. He's not here, though. So I guess this is a success? I may regret this, though. The thought of being alone is frightful. And look what happened to the room. Did David do this? Was it because I left? Can't help but feel slightly guilty. At least I can figure this radio out in peace. There has to be some pattern to this thing. Some way to control where this device takes me. Okay. Destroy it. Destroy the box. Always destroy the box. Open the door. Close the door. Hmm. TV? Okay, I already figured out channel 5. 1971. So... 7 goes last for some reason. And I don't know what that password is for. It's... I, I just don't know. So... Purples mean something, obviously. So whenever I do a thing, whether I destroy a box or turn the TV to channel 5, purple fixes. And I assume I want the purple. So 108, let's check it out. So 108 is the past. I was going to say. And at the beginning, there was nothing. <laughs> okay, okay, that's a little creepy. <laughs> um, okay. Um, the current is broken. Okay, okay, okay. Let's, uh, let's get out of here, shall we? So I have a feeling I'm supposed to be following, like, some secret, some plan, or there's supposed to be, like, clues to go to this time and that time, but I'm just sort of Futzing around randomly, so I don't know. Okay, well, let's check 
That looks like a new time. <gasps> a box. God destroyed the box. Oh, that TV's going to be a pain to get to. Piece of paper. Uh, read it. This doesn't work. Doesn't just doesn't make sense. How am I supposed to explain the phenomenon here? There's no way out of this room. Nothing inside follows any logic either. The door is locked shut with no sign of a key. This is a prison. My part of some experiment. Where we left this room for me set up several gears and memories that somehow function. The windows reveal a void of nothingness, yet the television set and stove still function as though they have electricity, and for some reason the television gets one channel. It's just static though, wait. I think I see a number behind the static. Yeah, I've seen that too. Ooh, a box. Destroy it. You destroyed the box, you monster. Ooh, a note. Read it. I don't think either of us understand what's going on exactly. This place was never really made sense, but now it defies any attempts to find a logical structure. She still believes that there's something to understand, some puzzle to solve. I pity and envy her. I wish that I could say the same. Still, it is good to finally have someone around. The loneliness was starting to do bad things to my mind. Hope she will realize sooner rather than later. The situation here is hopeless. That way she might be willing to actually sit down and have a conversation instead of searching every inch of this room. It'd be nice to actually have someone to talk to for once. So, it's possible that I'm the person that's leaving the blue notes? And now I'm the one that's... Um... Creating the paradoxes? Open the drawer. Get on the floor. I really do the dinosaur. Hmm. Oh, man. Old TV set. Not plugged in. Plug it in. Uh, look at TV. Oopsie, wrong way. Five, there you go. Nice and consistent. Destroy it. What's this? It's a piece of paper. Read it. She lied to me. I woke up. She was not in bed. She was fiddling with that stupid radio. She told me it was because she was bored. Why she thinks she can escape? I've already tried to many times. I think I still understand, but my memory of the outside world's getting so dim, which means it's hard to sympathize. Sympathize. I'm ready to convince her that it's pointless. I wasted so much of my time trying to leave. There's nothing left out there anyway. Okay. It's a piece of paper. What do you do? Read it. He thinks he owns me. It's absurd. We are already sleeping in the same bed. What more does he want? So why am I messing with the radio? I'm so close to figuring out. This isn't just a radio. It's something more. If I could spend more than just nights figuring out, I know it will take me away from this place. I need to get out of here before it reacts worse than last night. We keep fighting over stupid things. It's getting harder to feel bad for him. Okay. Where am I? So... Uh, this is 96.2? Huh. Yeah, I still need to get to this TV. I go through here, and now I have this TV. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Man, what's going on in this game? I don't know. Wait, I thought I destroyed that box down there. He certainly is interesting to talk to, but he's a bit off. Don't know how to describe it. He's both quite a very, very talkative. It's like the moment I bring up something he likes, he suddenly won't stop talking. I guess it's probably because of how long he's been here. I do feel sorry for him, though. He definitely is trying, and I understand why. He's been alone for the better part of a year, and it must have been awful. He thinks I've given up trying to escape, and the reality is... I haven't. Cool. I thought I'd destroy this box. She finally stopped obsessing a few days ago. It's so nice to have someone to talk to. We only have a lot in common. And we find ourselves talking for hours. She's warmed up to me, I think. I'm grateful. We don't have much, but we do have each other for the time being. I let her have the bed for now, and I sleep in the chair for the time being. I feel like that'll probably be the polite thing to do. Trying to remember my manners is helping. At least it's something I've been lost yet. <coughs> 
Wow, my voice got super gravelly because of my cold. The box tried to run, but you got to it first. Should I be closing all these boxes? I'm not sure. I feel like I should be. Which is another thing I need to go back and fix. Great. But 88.2, slightly in the future. There's a thing here. Interesting. Okay. So this is the beginning. When there was more than just a radio. But still not much. There's no kitchen. But there is a chest. Chest is shut tight by a combination lock. Ah. Mm. Examine the lock. So. Nope. Nine. Teen. And then this one needs to be second to last. Nineteen seventy one. That was the key. That was that was the that was the code. Yeah, put the second number last even. Got it. Just read a note that said The end table keeps anything you put into it. That's why the key disappeared. Now I have the key. Mm, I still need to get this box though. I don't know what timeline this is. Oh, I missed one. Okay. This one's very... Very close to the other one. Which is why I missed it. Let's check it. Ah, there's a box. Just what I wanted. The box crumbles under your mighty weight. Or what are these? Oh, those are logs firewood. Chest is open here already. That's good, I guess. Read it. I don't understand why it's happening. The food keeps replenishing and the firewood never runs out. It's been months since I arrived. I haven't even seen a sign of anyone. I begin to wonder if there is anyone out there. I begin to wonder if the place even exists. Where am I? The view from the windows unchanging. Occasionally they hear the rumble of a train pass by, but no train ever does. I think someone will come find me. I'm still here waiting. There's nothing for me to do. No resources to do anything with while I wait in hell. Chest is locked and no conceivable combination will work. I have attempted to force the lock and to break it. But I wasn't able to open it. Next morning, lock was back to normal. Sometimes I could starve myself, but I'm never hungry. I'd only for pleasure so to subside the constant boredom. I have no choice but to wait. Wait for salvation of some sort of ending that will never arrive. Okay. Okay, where does this take me? Ah, TV. Gen 5, thank you. 107.9, so that's the distant future. Here I am. All the keys. 107.9. I'll just write that down. I don't think I need it anymore. But it's good to know. Destroy it. Yes! Paradox removed! I can't even see the box in this room. Destroy the box anyways. Nice. Okay, cool. What happens if I walk here? Uh, I want to see, check the TV. Check my idea. Um... Hello? Who, who is this? I can't really hear you. Um, wait. Well then, who are you? How are we talking? This is a TV set. <sighs> who are you? My name is Keris. At least I'm pretty sure that's what it was. I have a feeling you already know about me. You're in the room right now, which means you found the papers. Time travel? Yes, the radio travels through time, as you've probably already figured out. It's a self-contained little time machine that exists throughout all of time. It took me months to figure out how to get it working again. But you only need to put the batteries back in. My fault for that. Paradoxes? This is a real issue, isn't it? There's some way to see the current number of paradoxes, but I don't know. I don't remember fully. I think it's something to do with TV sec. Yeah, I figured that out. Keys. My fault. I may have done something. Really bad. Um wasn't thinking. I was just in a state of mind that, in hindsight, 
may have been caused by the isolation of the room. This is going to be tough talk about, excuse me for a moment. I was trying to escape, found the keys to the door, but it won't work for some reason. Thought it may have had to do with the timeline. Kept taking keys from chests all over the timeline, yet they continued to turn, even after I'd taken them somewhere else. It must have been the same reason that the food returns every day, and the same reason the room continues to stay the same. Time obviously doesn't work in the same pl way, place, whatever. Truly altered timeline of objects, one must return or take them from their point of origin, or else it creates a paradox. The key's point of origin, 88.2. I got that. If it's in its own point of origin, it will appear everywhere else. I thought gathering every key from every time frame would be a good idea. Turns out it's just a waste of time. The key doesn't even work on doors unless it's used at the present time frame, I presume. But I was determined to stay away from David. Irrationally. Even the thought of seeing him or even the chance of letting him leave the room. Just... Even if it cost me my own freedom, I need to find a way out of the room. What? A way that didn't involve... him. So I took the key from its point of origin, and took it as far as I could think of. And... all the keys I had found... I... I messed up the timeline really bad. So badly, the room isn't fixing it by itself. Whoops. Uh, so... <coughs> uh, David, he is... an uncomfortable subject for me. He is so obsessive over and over, he has me to stop trying to solve the problem. To leave the radio alone! What's his problem? I want to leave! He discouraged me every chance he could, but... He wasn't rude. He was nice about it. He's complicated. Cause, well, he's a nice person. But the isolation broke him. Took everything he was, hidden it, underneath the wall of something. We would talk for hours. That's one thing we could do. It was nice. Compared to what I remembered outside, he was wonderful. It was during these talks when he showed me what he was really like. He was polite, as polite as he could be after being completely alone for over a year. I don't know why I resented him so much. I was obsessing too, you know? Make everything worse right alongside him. What happened was both of our faults, I think. Took advantage of him, and he didn't mind. I lied to him, and that's when he lost it. And then I left. When yeah, we get back, I think I need to talk to him. I want to believe that I haven't heard him so much that he refuses to leave. Huh. How'd you get here? I, I think I broke the timeline. I messed up. I mean, really messed up. That was so smart. That was so smart. But I figured it out. I think it knew. The room did. It does things to you. It listens. I said things that I really shouldn't have. This is my punishment. I know it is! I want to leave him here. I did everything in my power to stop him from one day finding a way out. I screwed myself in the process. It's my fault. All this, I caused this myself to be stuck here. I'm a bad person, Arthur. I'm a bad person. Who are you? Uh, yeah, you figured out how radio works. You solved the TV problem. I think you also started unraveling the paradoxes, too. That's why we were able to talk. Yeah. That's not a question that can be answered. It's like a dream. One second feels like eternity. Uh. Huh, you can still sort of make out the word David in the static there. Interesting. Anyways, escape. Okay. Well, I need your help. David needs your help. This place makes no sense. It makes people do things. But you can fix it. Fix every paradox. Take the key to his point of origin. Take everything you broke or changed. Make them all the same. If there's only one way, fix it. Okay. So the only paradox left is the um, chest, which won't open properly. So I'm an idiot. I put the second number and last, not the second to last number last. It's an open empty chest. Open the drawer. You see the key. Take the key. So I could leave, but put the key in the drawer. Set the key inside. Paradox removed, okay. So, paradoxes are gone.
Also, an interesting thing to note is that when you go to a different time, the name of the window changes in this game. So, like, right now it is July 29th, 1970. But if I switch it over to, say, here, let's just test it out for argument's sake. is now May 5th, 1971. Which I am... I find really interesting. I wonder what those dates mean. <laughs> like, obviously they're... So, like, they're... I guess... What was I going to say? If you want to actually track the time frame, that would make it easier. Like the day starts on June 3rd, 1971. Hey David, you done making food? Uh, let me go check your girlfriend. So, do you need to talk to me? Well, I mean, I fits them all, didn't I? Let's turn it off for a second. Uh, I don't see a number in the static anymore. Find you in the void. So, the void... Okay, so I need to come back to this. The void, that's... All the way at the beginning. That's the only void I know of. 88.8. .8. There you are. Good thing I talked to her. Hey! You did it! You actually really did it! Can't believe it! I just... I don't know who you are or where you came from, but you're a genius! You fixed everything, you repaired the timeline! I, I just can't believe it. Everything I caused you. I'm sorry I put you through this. I'm sorry for everything. The thoughts of seeing my home again after all this time. It, it's bringing me to tears. Sorry, I ca I'm caught up in everything and it's distracting me. Please, let's get out of here. Use the radio to take us back. I think we both want to get out of this horrible place. I'll try and talk to David. Hopefully he's okay. Hope so too. You wanna go first? No? Okay. Just curious. This is... Oh! The time is gone. The song is over. That's what time it is. That's interesting. Karis? Karis! How? David, hi. We need to talk. We'll talk privately. Nah. Really? We're, we're sort of in a room. Anyways, we need to talk here and now. You need to listen. We found the way out. We can all go home. David, please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry I left. No, you disappeared. You left me alone. How can you expect me to be alright with that? You were the only person I had. Don't know what it's like to be alone for so long. We need to just leave and come back here. Just like nothing happened between us. David. David. Look at me. You have to understand. It's more complicated than that. I wanted to leave this place. I wanted out. But you wouldn't let go. Please, try to understand what I went through. I couldn't do it. I couldn't spend years here. I'm not as strong as you. I need to leave. I need to find a way out. See? Compliment the person you're dissing. That way they can't get as mad. I wanted to get your help, but you resisted. I resented you. Obviously. That I couldn't even bear the idea of taking you with me. I'm sorry. Dude, I'm sorry a lot. Please. Please, it was wrong with me. David, we found we found the way out. Please, can you forgive me long enough so we can all go home? I don't like that the text box is covering the chest, so I can't see if the key's there or not. I I wanted to, I needed to, but you left. The only good thing left in my life. I was left alone again. I'm sorry. It was cruel. But we can fix things now. We can. Yeah. We can leave. Forget all this. Start over. Go home. We we can actually go home. Probably? I mean, we haven't tested yet, so sorry for getting your hopes up. But anyways, what do you say? Let's go home. Thank you. Okay, let's all go home. Um, I should probably grab the key first. And we all lived happily ever after. 
As you insert the key, a breath of apprehension occurs. The key finds its way into the lock. You slowly turn it and... The door is now open. Oh, thank god. At last, you're able to escape. Bye! And then... Black screen. Ah, you all slowly close the door behind you, knowing that freedom is finally here. The red, the white, and the blue. God bless America. This is it then. Really is. David? Yes. I'm sorry for what happened, but it just... Oh, I'm sorry for the way I treated you. Isolation does things to us. Maybe it was the room. The more terrifying thought is... What if it wasn't? Well, that's a downer. And there's no train. Fuck. <laughs> After all this time, we're leaving. Yeah, we are. It's overwhelming. I don't understand these feelings. It's been so long since I've really felt anything this intense. It is overwhelming. Do, do, do you think we'll be able, we'll find each other after all this is done? Only if you want to. After everything that happened, and don't know why you want to. But it's your choice. I do. I do want to find you again. Uh, I like that. Now what? We wait. And now you. Thank you for helping. Yeah. Don't know if I'll we'll see you again. But without you, I don't know what we'll have. Blah blah blah. We sort of blew your load there. You could have waited until the train showed up. Say all that. <coughs> okay. I'm <laughs> like, oh. Uh, hmm. Should we wait? I was tempted to go back to the room and go, eh, fuck this. <sighs> Me first. Fuck you guys. Are you guys going to get on the train or not? Okay. Fine, be that way. Black screen. Escape! You all escape together. True ending. Seven else. Wow. There's seven endings, I got the good ending first. I'm not going to do the other ones. Because this was an hour long recording. To be fair, some of the other ones might be a lot shorter. But, I don't know, that was a good game. I liked this. Simple. It was a one room puzzle game. Those are always... Those are always fun. I mean, I composed, written, illustrated, and programmed all by one person. Good on ya. So yeah, check it out. Get the other six endings yourself. This is... This is I like it. It's, I mean, I'm always a sucker for time travel games. Time travel is always fun. And this was done pretty good. Having to solve paradoxes. And possibly cause paradoxes. Like, oh yeah, that's cool. I mean, some of the parts you can sort of brute force your way through. That's unfortunate, but... I still like it. It's so like you sort of luck into getting into that first timeline. Maybe there was a hint that I missed that would have sent me in the correct order, but whatever. Well, I did what I want. And thank you for playing, and thank you for watching. So, thank you guys so much for stopping by and watching the video. If you like the video, do the thing that does the thing and lets me know about the thing. And until next time, bye bye